You can actually win the lottery by not playing it, and here's how. Let's get some facts out of the way first here. This is not financial advice, and $100 billion is spent annually in the U.S. alone on the lottery. $100 billion divided by the number of people in the United States, that gets us to an average of $302, including children, babies, etc. So the number is actually a lot higher on average for adults. And let's just say the odds of winning some of the big lotteries, they're not in your favor. Now, remember that average $300 annual lottery spending? Say you were to put that into the S&P 500. SPY, for example, a weighted index of the top 500 U.S. public companies. Now again, past performances guarantee nothing. But in the last 70 plus years, the general market's been all right, with an average growth of 11.25%, including dividends. So I pulled out my dividend reinvestment calculator, put in the average investment amount of $302, contribution 300 annually, with a 1% dividend yield, which is actually 50% lower than what it really is. It just wouldn't let me add the 0.5. And an expected dividend growth of 2%, which is what it is historically. Dividends reinvested. And the average percentage that it's grown historically, for what it's worth. After 50 years, that's the result. $1.1 million. That's bigger than most lottery wins. And if you think nobody has that time, 70% of 20 to 30 year olds play the lottery every year. Most people don't play once. 